or 90 degrees onto the hack. 29,000 feet. 15 nautical miles. Velocity 730 feet per second, altitude 27,000 feet. Range 13 nautical miles. Equivalent airspeed 270 knots. Altitude 22,000 feet now. Sink rate 223 feet per second. Range 11 and a half nautical miles. Thousand feet now, velocity 594 feet per second. Range 8 nautical miles. Mission Control processing S band data through Milo. Altitude 12,900 feet. Range 7 nautical miles. Velocity 560 feet per second. 287 knots. Challenger Houston on glide slope. Surface winds 330 at 8. 8 knot surface winds at 330 degrees. Headwind. Altitude 7500 feet. Range 4.4 nautical miles. Velocity 520 feet per second. Angle of attack about 4.5 degrees. Velocity 494 feet per second. Altitude 1100 feet, 800 feet. Range 1.3 nautical miles. Gear down. Houston at 8 days, 5 hours, 24 minutes. The largest crew in the history of space flight is home. Challenger Houston, uh, we copy that grip and you outfoxed us again. You landed at KSC, but the beer has been sent to Edwards. I don't believe it. Don't believe it. Everything going very well on the runway, uh, following the timeline. <laughs> Round of applause coming out of the mission control room here as the crew uh, exits the orbiter. It's Commander Bob Crippen, shaking hands with the ground crew, pilot John McBride, Kathy Sullivan, Mark Garneau, Sally Ryan, Paul Scully Power.
crew now inspecting their uh, spaceship, which uh, held them in orbit for eight days. Uh, convoy commanders just received word that the Astro van is ready to move and is indeed pulling out right now. Uh, they have put, uh, the, the crew has been on board for some time and they've completed putting on the, uh, the flight records uh, which will go back to the crew quarters with them and then back to Houston as they fly back in about four hours from now.